Okay. Hello, everybody. Hi, Lori in Indiana. Hi, Patricia. How are y'all doing today? We're going to go ahead and let um, everybody join on in before we get started. I'm going to be cooking some dinner today, and I just thought I'd bring y'all along um, my dinner. It's going to be super simple. I'm just going to make like an easy stir fry using some like keto noodles that I went ahead and found at HEB, some low carb noodles. We'll add a little shrimp in there and just like a stir fry mix. I only had to buy like three ingredients to make this stir fry. So hopefully this gives y'all like a little idea on what to cook. Hi, oh, how was my day? It was good. It actually went by super fast. Um, we kind of had a lazy day this morning and then by the time we knew it our day flew by how was your day so these are like the noodles that i went ahead and picked up at heb that we're going to be going in with um so they have these i got the linguine style because it was kind of like the thicker ones for i don't know i kind of liked it more for like a stir fry and then they also have the spaghetti ones as well, like the thinner ones. When do your boys start school? My boys start school this upcoming Wednesday. Um, so they'll be back in school. And that'll get me back on schedule because we've kind of been all over the place. <laughs> Hi, Kelsey. Hi, Gigi. So yeah, these are the noodles that we're going to try. I actually haven't tried these. I've tried a lot of sh i've tried shiitake noodles but it was a different brand and it was a spaghetti kind these are the thicker ones and i haven't tried this brand so i'm really interested in seeing how they taste do you recommend keto while pregnant um i am not a i would definitely talk to your doctor first but i've seen plenty of people that do keto while pregnant you just need a higher um carb intake like you can't do 20 net carbs a day while being pregnant you definitely need a higher carb intake um protein intake and things like you need to eat more my husband and i say you look like the latina gina person every time we watch your videos i don't know who that is but now i'm gonna look it up because now i'm curious that's the first time i've ever heard that name i always get that i look like demi lovato everybody tells me that a lot hello but yeah, this is a brand. I found these. Now, it might depend on your store, but in my HEB, they were in like the Asian aisle where all the Asian food is. Um, and it's like $3, which is not too bad. There's three servings in here. It says serving size and one-third package. And it's zero net carbs. So you can literally eat this whole thing. <laughs> uh, it's only 10 calories too. Like it's so low in calories. You can literally eat this whole bag and you'll be totally fine. No net carbs. Um, all you do is rinse and then you like boil it, simmer it in a sauce. I know it might have a different kind of texture to them. Usually these noodles are kind of like on the chewier side, but they're not too bad. They hold flavor really well. So we'll see how this brand tastes. This is by Taste of Asia. And it's their organic konjac linguine noodles. Hello. Hey. Ray and Sammy, hi from Green Bay. I miss you guys going live. I know, we kind of been like all over the place. Um, Ray was working out of town. He came back. We were getting back on schedule. We've been school shopping for the boys going back to school. And it's just been crazy. So we'll get back on schedule soon. No, he's here right now. He'll be leaving again soon. But he's here right now. He'll be saying hi in a minute. Um, they were asking if you're working out of town. What's up, guys? What's <laughs> there up, he is. Up? He is here um but he'll be leaving soon again i'm so happy you're going live again i feel like i miss i know i miss y'all i miss y'all so much i felt weird not doing it last week i don't know what came up something came up where we didn't go live oh you were feeling you were feeling good. i don't yeah maybe i wasn't feeling well hello in kansas tell ray i got sent to the coker, coker. oh it's chris is that chris wait who's christopher Christopher. Oh, he's, uh, he's the other guy that was on there. He's the operator. Oh, okay, okay. Um, so, yeah. So, we have the noodles. And then I found this stir-fry medley at HEB. And it says wash, trim, and ready to eat. And all you have to do is steam it in the microwave. And I thought it would be a really good idea just to add it to your stir-fry mix. So, they have these. If you have HEB, I'm pretty sure 
Kroger has stuff like this, Walmart, where you can just easily buy it if you don't want to like chop up your own and you just kind of want to mix on hand. They also have some that are frozen if you want to defrost those, but I kind of find these a little bit easier. So I went ahead and picked up a bag of these and then I just got some shrimp. You don't have to use shrimp, you can use chicken too, of course, chicken thighs, but I thought I'd do a little shrimp today because I had some chicken for lunch. Just wanted to tell Ray I was a sign there. Who's telling you? The sign where, what, uh, where at though? He said we're at. He's in, he said Kansas? I'm not sure. Love that color on you. Thank you. Okay, so we're going to go ahead and get started. Okay, I was trying to decide what to do first. So I think I'm going to go ahead and cook down my shrimp first. So I got my little pan right here. <clears throat> and we're going to cook down our shrimp. So this was just one bag and it's just some medium shrimp I already um, it was already deveined the tail off you can use any kind that you like we got a little butter right here uh he said coker unit going to be a coke cutter on the drums literally on the derricks guys they're talking about work i don't even know what they're talking about <laughs> i have no idea what they're talking about so i'm as lost as y'all are Hi from Texas. Hello, Cynthia. Okay, so I'm going to go ahead and uh, melt down some butter. This is just some unsalted butter. What is everybody having for dinner tonight? Yeah, I don't know what they're talking about. <laughs> they're talking about work. Oh my god. Sometimes I get some of Ray's uh, work friends on here, and I don't know what they're talking about. I met him here. Huh? I met him on here. Oh, on here? Yeah. Oh, okay. Oh, yeah, the last time. I know what you're talking about. Okay, melting down some butter. <laughs> they said, ooh. <laughs> they didn't know what y'all were talking about. <laughs> Has anybody made, like, a keto stir fry? What do y'all usually like to make it with? chicken piccata with healthy noodles that sounds really good oh i love the healthy noodles you're talking about the ones from costco i wish costco wasn't so far from me because i would probably have those noodles all the time those are probably one of my favorite noodles i don't know what it is the texture is just like perfect they don't have like that chewy kind of texture to them and they hold flavor really well okay i'm gonna go ahead and add in my shrimp to my butter I'm just going to season my shrimp with some salt, some pepper, just some basic seasoning. So I'm going to go ahead and add this to a sauce. Cabbage mixed with sausage. Ooh, that's really good too. Making your buffalo chicken stuffed bell peppers. Ooh, post some pictures on my Facebook page. I want to see. I had a grilled burger on a keto bun with a side of, oh, okay. I know what tortillas you're talking about. Tortilla chips and pico. That sounds really good. Hi, Ruby. Hi, in Fresno. That's Ruby Ruby. Is that Ruby Ruby? Yeah. I told her to get out the house. Oh, okay. Oh, I think I saw you message me. Does she want to play a game or no? Yeah. I was adding some parsley flakes, some garlic powder to my shrimp. And I they're already cooked through, so I'm just getting a sear on these. And then I like to add in a little bit of red chili flakes. Just going to get a sear. Hopefully, maybe next week, Ray can go ahead and cook dinner on next week's live. Maybe. <laughs> what do you want to see Ray cook <laughs> on this next week's live? Was just too quick. Yeah, know? today our day just flew by. Yeah, so yeah. I was like, you know what? I'll cook dinner today. We're going to do the keto crate. Yeah, we were going to do our unboxing for the keto crate on live, but we just decided to cook a quick dinner. Um, yeah, I'm going to do keto crate tomorrow. Hi in Alabama. Natural heaven keto rice. I made it with shrimp stir fry and scrambled egg. That sounds, have I tried? I tried one of the keto rices, but I didn't like it. I don't think I tried that natural keto one. Six ounce of pork steak and sauteed zucchini. Ooh, delicious. You know what? I almost made zoodle, like spaghetti with zoodles today. Almost, but I wanted to stir fry. Okay. This shouldn't take long at all. Guys, before we move further, make sure y'all share this live um, with all your family and friends. Make sure you hit that thumbs up button so we can reach more people. 
and give this video a big thumbs up. Okay. It's almost done. Yeah, so maybe Ray can cook next week. We'll see what he makes. Y'all just gotta tell me what y'all want to cook. Yeah, y'all gotta y'all gotta comment and let me know what y'all want him to cook. So I'll be like, what do you want to cook? And I like to make it difficult for him a little bit. Just a little bit, just to gross him out, because y'all know he gets a little grossed out. And it's funny. I think I just hate chicken juice the most. <laughs> chicken juice. <laughs> Try tip and scrambled eggs this way. Eggs scrambled in butter, of course. Mmm. That sounds really good. Steak and eggs. We ate asada tacos on La Madre corn tortillas. That sounds good. Y'all making some good dinners. Hey, Sammy, the calapacitas you make. Oh my God, I'm in love. My son wants it two to three times a week. That's awesome. How old is your son? Hey, Ruby. He won't be drooling at race food when he's cooking. <laughs> Cook up some tacos, babacoa next week. Ooh, you know what? I love me some babacoa tacos, but I don't ever think I can make those from scratch because I don't know. <laughs> it's like, I don't know. This big tongue, I don't know, grosses me out. But I love me some babacoa on Sunday mornings. I actually haven't had babacoa in a while. Every time we go to San Antonio is usually when we get babacoa. Ray will eat it if it doesn't have like any fat in it. Is it bad to eat it that much? No, it's not bad. It's totally fine. Oh, he's 15. Yeah, no, you're fine. Enjoy what you like. You're still making healthy choices. It's not like you're indulging in bad foods. Okay, my shrimp is pretty much seared. I'm going to go ahead and take it out and put it to a bowl to the side. So it's already cooked through, but it just has seasoning on there. This stir fry shouldn't take long at all. Ooh, hot. Okay. Okay, wow, that is... While we have that cooked, I'm going to go ahead and pop this in the microwave. So this is just a stir fry medley mix and it is washed, trim, and ready to eat. And you throw it in the microwave and it steams in the bag for three minutes. It has broccolis, uh, I think it's snap peas and carrots, I believe. Yeah, broccolis, carrots, and snow peas. So we're going to put this in the microwave. I love those things. They just steam in the bag really quickly. Love it. Okay. Now, we're gonna go ahead and start making like our stir fry sauce mix. I do 49 carbs a day. I'm gonna turn this off, but I usually, but I notice it usually is around 120, 20, is that bad? Should I reduce my net? It depends like how much do you, it all depends on you, like how much you weigh and your height. You might wanna like really find out your macros specifically for you and just lower it. If you're at a stall, I would definitely try to lower it as you go. And your calories, um, counting calories does help as well if you are paying attention to those. You need to get in more veggies. Yeah, it's kind of hard, right? I usually try to add a veggie to like every meal. Okay, so we're going to make the sauce. So in my bowl, I'm going to add a little bit of water. Just very little. And then I like to go in with some squeezed ginger. Oh yeah, you are really tall, 6'2". Yeah, it all just depends on your macros. You really have to look into your macros and find it on a calculator, like a carb calculator. I love your pastas, <laughs> Ruby. Okay, so we're gonna go in with some squeezed ginger. I just add like a tablespoon or so. Ruby, do you make them though? Yeah, do you make, do you make what I make, Ruby? Okay, and then we're going to go in with some soy sauce. You could use soy sauce, liquid amino, I mean, coconut aminos, liquid aminos. Let me measure it out. I'm going to go in with about one fourth cup of soy sauce. And 
And then this right here is some sesame oil. I love me some sesame oil. It smells so good. I just add a few drops to this. And then this is optional, but I like to go in with some sriracha. And then for like a little sweetness, we're going to go in with some brown sugar. So the brown sugar replacement that I like to go in with is Swerve Brown Sugar. You can find this in the baking aisle at HB, Walmart, Kroger, wherever you shop. And it's like one of the best brown sugar replacements that I've tried. I'm just going to go in with one third cup. And then we got to let this sauce like get slightly thickened. So we're not going to use like cornstarch or anything. This is a natural thickener. This is xanthan gum. So if you want to make like a gravy or a really thick sauce, you want to go in with xanthan gum. You can also get this in the bacon aisles at any grocery store really. Um, but a little bit goes a long way. Sorry guys. A little bit goes a long way. So don't add too much. You got to add a little at a time. But I like to just pre-mix it in the sauce because if not, it kind of gets a little clumpy. So this, this is literally like probably all you need is like one fourth teaspoon. I'm gonna add that to the sauce. I'm gonna add a little bit more chili flakes to my sauce. And that's it for right now. So this is what my sauce is looking like. I'm gonna go ahead and give this a good stir. Thick. You want to make sure you stir the xanthan gum in really you well. Get as thick as me. <laughs> Ray said it's gonna get as thick as him. Hi, Marsha. How are you? Okay, I'm just making sure that xanthan gum really dissolves. Okay, so my stir fry bedly is done. I'm gonna go ahead and drain this really quickly. Oh, it's hot. Careful too much and xanthan gum has a texture. Yes, it really does. That's what I'm saying. A little bit goes a long way. Do not add a lot at all. You, you have ever heard keto spam sabi Hawaiian type dish replace rice with eggs, spam eggs wrap. Oh yeah, I have. I've tried that before and they're delicious. <laughs> My stepdad, he's actually half Korean, half Mexican and they love all that types of stuff. Rice. Is there something about low carb slash keto that makes you crave spicy things? No, you probably just crave some spicy foods. I love me some spicy foods. I crave it all the time. I mean, tons of jalapeno peppers on everything. <laughs> hey, it's not a bad thing. I add, I add hot sauce to everything. Everything. All the time. What is that made of? I don't know. Don't, don't tell me. <laughs> I don't want to know. What is that made of? Ray's over here searching what spam is made of. I'm like, don't ruin it for me, okay? I love spam. I love spam e and eggs. So uh, when I was younger, we used to eat spam eggs and white rice all the time with a little sriracha on top. It's so good. It says pork with ham meat added. Oh, okay. And then salt, water, potato starch, sugar, and sodium. Lots of sodium, probably. Nitrate. Because it's like canned meat. Yeah, it's a mystery meat. It's a mystery meat? Well, like the weenies okay so this is what my little stir fry medley looks like we got the little carrots broccoli and then we got some of the snow peas it looks really good and it steamed really well okay so to my pan again we're gonna go ahead and start cooking down this sauce we're gonna let it get nice and thick um just make sure you keep it on low because you don't want it to burn New to your channel, but I'm already hooked. Thanks for all your great. Thank you so much, Christina. Happy you're enjoying my channel. And you found me. I got tons of recipes on here for you to enjoy. No, Ray, don't do it. Everybody's telling you not to look it up. God. Mystery me? Yeah. I'm sure. Okay, so we're going to go ahead and add this sauce to my pan. I don't even want to know what Vienna's sausage is. That's like a mystery. Meat. No, I don't know. Like a lot of people say, like they grew up eating Vienna sausages. Mm -mm. I did. No, I used to eat pop them things. I already oh. knew, even when I was younger. I was like, no, thank you. I used to chop down on those little. Oh things. no, I forgot my garlic. And now I'm, I'm gonna so add disgusted. a little chopped garlic. I'm so disgusted by my son. Everything. 
my older son at one point he was wanting to like eat vienna sausages and it grossed me out so bad that i just stopped buying them <laughs> it says like chicken bacon ranch pizza Ooh, that sounds good me they for want me the, for what the star to next week chicken, yeah chicken bacon ranch pizza you're gonna make a pizza maybe oh my god i gotta see that from like scratch like fathead though yeah i guess if that's what they really want to see <laughs> y'all try to y'all try to torture ray y'all share it. okay i should have added this before but i'm just gonna have a little chopped garlic and it can simmer down with the sauce Ray has never made a fathead dough in his life. I mean, it's not hard to make, but you got to get the texture right. Okay, this is going to go ahead and cook down. Now, if your sauce gets a little oh, too uh, thick, we can go ahead and add a little water just to like thin it down a bit. It said my daughter used to like the jelly from the little can weenies. Don't say After that. <laughs> oh, that's gross. <laughs> Ugh. Why are kids like this? I would throw up if I even like <laughs> the smell of it now. Oh, oh. wondering does the spaghetti squash have like a sweet taste like sweet potatoes? Yes, it does. Um, not too much as like a like a the sweet potato would, but it does have a little sweet taste to it. Hi, Elizabeth. I'm surprised you never did something with sardines. Because I've never tried sardines, and why would I want to do that? Who wants to see you No, sar don't even do that to me. Life. I would literally throw up. Nope. Why? Just thinking about it. It has eyeballs. What are you talking about? You still you eat all kinds of stuff. My eyes twitching. <laughs> don't do you that. You made an octopus. It didn't have eyeballs. What do you mean? It was a whole little baby octopus. <laughs> what do you mean? No. No, thank you. Yeah. Have you tried them? Yeah, I'll try that. My dad used to like, I'll give you a quarter and my, my dumb I'll stuff. I'll give you a quarter? My dumb stuff would be like, oh yeah, a quarter. And I'm like, oh. Okay, our sauce is thickening. It smells so good already. Do you have the Ninja Ice Cream Maker? I do not. But that seems really interesting. Maybe I'll look into it for you. Maybe we'll get I should start making my own ice cream because... We haven't bought a new appliance in a Yeah, we haven't bought a new appliance in a while. We've been broke, guys. It's been hard. Groceries are so expensive. You just walk outside and you spend immediately like $300. I don't even want to go outside. Hey, could you do flatbread too? I don't want to. I actually do have a recipe on a keto cheesy bread, but maybe I can do a new one and update it one for y'all. That'll be a good idea. We should do some flatbread, huh? A new recipe vi recipe video. Do you like different kinds of flatbreads? I already have something oh, in my like mind. A, oh, yeah. Ooh, like, like a spinach feta one. Like a chicken bacon ranch. Chicken bacon one. ranch flatbread. And. Yeah, I see a video on that. That sounds really good. Yeah, uh, we'll save that comment. Let me screenshot. We'll just say it. Because then whenever we do the video, we'll throw her comment in there since. Yeah, yeah. She suggested it. Uh, okay, so this is thickening. I don't know if y'all can see this. Look at this. The sauce is thickening. It's still a little runny, but just give it a few minutes. So while that is thickening, I'm actually going to go ahead and cook my no my noodles in it too. So these are the noodle replacement that we're going in with if you missed it at the beginning. These are the organic konjac linguine noodles, zero net carbs, only 10 calories per serving. And there's three servings in here, so I could literally eat this whole bag and it'd be totally fine. They do have the spaghetti ones as well. I just like, I kind of thought that thicker noodle would be great for like a stir fry. But all you have to do is rinse it. And then it says heat for a few minutes and add to your sauce a choice. And then you can also, it says the noodles can also be added to your favorite broth or a delicious soup. And I got these at HEB. Um, if you don't know what HEB is, it's just a store in Texas, like our main grocery store. But if you don't have them near you, maybe look them up on Amazon. I'm pretty sure Amazon will have them as well. Oh, this smells so good. We'll probably do like the video on that, like three flatbreads. Yeah, like three different flatbreads. Yeah, That'd be a good we'll idea. Okay, now I'm be eating flatbread all week. Is <laughs> is half and half or heavy cream better for keto and losing weight? Um, it depends what you're doing. So heavy cream does have more calories if you are watching your calories. I would probably have that in moderation, but I've had heavy cream throughout my whole journey. So you can use either or. It just depends on what you're making. I have to have cream or Jordan skinny syrup. Yes. So I just switch it off. If I have half and half on hand, I use that. If I have heavy cream, I like heavy cream because it's a little bit more milkier, like thicker. Look, nobody's saying no sardines. Ha ha ha. Oh, no. <laughs> okay, so let me go ahead and package these noodles. 
So it just comes like this. Um, I don't know. I feel like three servings is kind of small for three servings. I would literally sit here and eat this whole bag by myself. <laughs> so if you eat very little, it'd be good for you. But I could sit here and eat this whole thing. So I'm just going to go ahead and rinse it really quickly. Oh, yeah. Yeah, yeah. I know y'all want to see her try some sardines. No. Don't do that. If y'all do... we're going to do like a little competition where we're going to be trying different foods and I'm going to make you try a lot of stuff. If you do, y'all put like a check mark or something. Don't do that, guys. Y'all yeah. got to be on my side. Come on. <laughs> y'all already seen her faces. <laughs> We've seen your faces touching chicken. It doesn't matter. Okay, so this is what the little noodles look like. They look kind of, they're very clear, but you can see they kind of have a little texture to them. So hopefully they cook down a little bit while in the sauce. So I'm gonna go ahead and add these in. They look like jelly. Yeah, they look like a jellyfish. <laughs> but we'll see how they taste. I got enough jelly. I got enough jelly. <laughs> At least they're clear, so they'll probably hold like the color really well. So I'm going to go ahead and let this simmer in my sauce. And it smells really good already. Doesn't that smell good, babe? What? The hey, sauce. Do you want some more water? I was going to buy a teriyaki, teriyaki sauce by Primal Kitchen. You guys, they're like almost $10 a bottle. I was like, for some teriyaki sauce. I was like, why? I remember before they were like six, five, six dollars And now they're like almost $10, like double the price. Everything's above them. I know. For a teriyaki sauce. Everything's so expensive. I know, it's crazy. I'm going to double up on my fans on these prices. She said, my son likes the mustard pack sardines with crackers. Ooh. I don't know about that. I don't know. Maybe the, crack the cracker might add a little something to it, but no. <laughs> Some authentic keto Mexican food would be a great video. Yes. I have a lot of like Mexican, little Mexican recipes on here, but I would definitely put more out for y'all. I need help getting to 170 mg's of protein. Any suggestions? I have protein powder, but it's not enough. Protein powder, protein bars. Just have like high packed protein snacks. So when you have your meal, you can have a snack in between before lunch, another snack in between. So you got to have a lot of high protein snacks. Yeah. Well, no, those are not keto. Oh, those are yeah, those are for my carb up day. Oh. Um, so keto will be more like hard boiled eggs, um, meats, like little packed meats, some nuts. Just have little things like that on hand so you can have snacks in between your meals. If you're really trying to aim for your protein intake. Because I know it's hard, like it is hard to hit your protein intake sometimes. Some yogurt, some like protein packed yogurts would be good too. Prices are insane these days. I know. I used to be, I used to love going grocery shopping. I look forward to it once a week. Now I'm like, I don't even want to go in there. <laughs> I'm like, no. And then if I, I don't even want to go with Ray because if we take Ray too, it's like double more. <laughs> you never can. <laughs> you be getting everything. I'm like, you stay home. I'll go by myself. Because H-E-B has everything prepared. I know. Right. H-E-B be getting you. You walk in and everything is like prepared. They got all the fruits like sliced with little tahini packets and limes. Like everything just looks so good. I'm like, this is why we don't need to come here. <laughs> okay, this sauce is thickening. I'm also going to go ahead and add in my veggies. I probably need to add a little bit more salt. But I don't want it too salty because of the soy sauce. Sometimes there's like big pieces of broccoli, so I just kind of break them apart. They even have like, H-E-B has tons of like keto, low carb prepared meals. Tons of them. They have like vegetarian, keto, low carb, regular ones. Okay. Add this all in. And this is something very quick and easy to do if you're not like talking like I am. You can quick, you can cook it pretty fast. I let this steam. I'm gonna add a little bit more salt. Looks good, huh, babe? Yeah. 
This is just like right off the top of my head because I haven't tried these noodles. So this is just something I'm experimenting with. And it already looks really good. Of course, carrots in moderation. Yes, carrots in moderation. But carrots never made us fat, right? I mean, I love carrots. Hi, Sydney. How are you? Carrots don't do the body harm. I love me some carrots um, and some onions and bell peppers. But a lot of people say to have them in moderation. Oh yeah, that sauce looks good. This would be like a good meal prep kind of recipe too. You can meal prep it for the week. If you want some cauliflower, oh we got the noodles. I would say cauliflower rice, but the noodles are good. I have a hard time getting that much protein without too many calories or carbs. Yeah, it's a little tricky, but I just tell everybody like do the best you can. You don't always have to hit your macros exactly. Just don't go like too over or anything, but just do the best that you can. If you want a clean protein powder that has all the amino acids, try Terrace Woe Bourbon Vanilla. Then I mix one scoop of cocoa powder and salted caramel syrup. Tastes like a Wendy's Frosty. That sounds delicious. <laughs> don't tell me that because I'll be worried you all the time. Bro, that's like one of those I love Wendy's Frosties like growing up. And then they came out with the strawberry one. I'm like, why? I haven't tried it, of course. But it looks delicious. Oh, Ray tried it when he was out of town at work. Yes. And he sent me a picture and I was like, why? Was it good, babe? Yeah. But I mean, that's really, I've been, that's probably one of the bad things I had there. I've yeah. I've been drinking mostly water. Ray quit soda. He actually has not drank a soda in a, month, in a month. And I'm super proud of him. Because that was like the hardest things for him was to quit soda. But he did it. He did it by himself. He went out of town to work. And he's like, you know what? I'm not going to drink soda while I'm here. And he did really good. And then he came home when I was like, he's going to probably eat and drink soda, but he hasn't at all. Ray, where are you going to work next? I'm going back to Big Spring. Yeah, he's going back to Big Spring. So he was in Big Springs, but something came Big up. Spring. Big Spring. Something came up during the job, and they came back for a little bit, and then they're going to go back. Yeah, so I'm really proud of him because... We've been together 10 years, and over these 10 years, he is, he is a big soda drinker, and that has been one of the hardest things for him to do, okay. is to quit drinking soda, and he's been doing it for a month, so I'm super proud of him. That's probably the longest he's ever gone without drinking soda, and I'm not a soda drinker, so when I first got with him, I was like, no. how do you drink soda like that? Like, I cannot drink soda. because no, when I was actually doing keto, I did that for Oh, yeah, months. you did it for a while, right? But this, I was like, I need water because I needed water for work. For work. <laughs> Very proud of you, Ray, with the soda. That's hard. Yeah, it definitely is hard. And, like, he can drink, like, Coke Zero, and it'll satisfy him every once in a while. But he's like, it's not the same sometimes. No, no. It's, it's more like I really didn't care to do it. Now I'm just like, it does taste good. It's just before I was like, ah. What's what's it gonna hurt? <laughs> so I drink regular soda, but now I drink more Coke Zero and and uh, more water. I drink a wa I drink water throughout the day, and that's not something I usually do. Yeah. Usually I will be home, and I will won't even much drink a water the whole time I'm here, Ooh. only till I see like my urine is dark, and I'm like, oh, I better drink one water. Yeah, he's been drinking a lot of water. You know, this package looked like there was barely any noodles in here, like it was super small, but when they spread out, it's actually a good amount. So it's like, come on. Especially when you mix other things with it. So I went ahead and mixed in my shrimp. I turned off my heat, because my sauce is already thickened. You can see it's coated in the noodles. Everything is nice and tender, the veggies. So this was something quick and easy that you could definitely do. Um, I think I'm gonna add, no, that's fine. I'll leave it like that. And yeah, it was just a few ingredients. All I had was to buy three ingredients and I already had everything else on hand at home. We're just going to let it cool down and then we'll serve us up a bow and give it a try. But remember, you can do this with chicken. Some chicken thighs would be really good with this. Shrimp if you like. Um, what else should you... Oh, some steak. Maybe some steak would be good. How are your daughters? I don't have daughters. Oh, uh, we don't have daughters. We got three, we got three sons. Yeah. No girls. No girls. We got three boys, but they're doing good. They're over there relaxing. This is their last week before they start school, so they're over there playing their games and stuff. 
Sodas are really hard for me to give up kudos for your hubby. Yes. I knew he meant the, the, she meant the dogs. Oh, the dogs. I was like, she probably means the dogs. <laughs> yeah. The oh, dogs. They're good. Oh, they're good, yeah. They just chill. They're yeah. getting older by the day. Yeah, they just chill. They they're just, right here. I'm cooking, so they're just walking around like, what are you cooking, mom? Lately, they've been trying to hide in the garage because they just love it in there. I don't know why. I yeah. Guess, I guess it's cold in the house, but... They've been in the garage. Our dogs too. are getting old, so they're just like want to lay with us all the time and just like chill. Yeah. They're very chill dogs. <laughs> they want to copy us. Right? <laughs> but yeah, every time I cook, I already know they're going to be right here. They're like, the weenie dogs, they literally eyeball you from like the corner. I'll be like, hey, go over there. And they're like. They basically <laughs> just walk all over the house and go wherever they want. Yeah, pretty much. Okay, I'm just going to serve me up a small bowl because honestly I had a late lunch today and I'm not too crazy hungry. So I'm just going to give it a try just to try the noodles and stuff. And we'll sit down and chit chat with y'all because it's been a while. So let me serve up some noodles. Okay, I got the carrots. I got the little, I'm going to try the snap peas too or the snow peas. Make sure I get some shrimp in here. And I'm just going to let this cool off. You can add some green onions too. I was going to add some green onions, but I didn't get to. Or some sesame seeds. Look at my mess over here. Usually I clean up as I go, but I didn't. Has anybody tried these noodles yet? Like, have y'all seen them in store before and actually gave them? This is a good noodle replacement. That looks good already. Yeah, it looks really good. That sauce was super simple to make too. Just make your own sauce at home because when you do buy them, they can get pricey. But these are the way the noodles look. Hopefully they're good because now I want to make like a, a little like ramen with them. Let's cool off. Do you want to move? Yeah, I guess. I mean, it's going to be wobbly. <clears throat> All right, guys. We're going to move y'all over. We're going to move y'all to our table so we can go chit chat with y'all. Sit down with y'all. Our table. It's actually... <laughs> It's actually where I do my recipe videos at. Yeah, it's actually um, what do you call it? It's a tool table. It's a tool. It has a. It's a tool. This yeah. little like table that I do my recipe videos on, like this. It's a husky like. It it's a tool table, so it goes like up and down, nice. and I liked it because you can just cut right on this, and it doesn't do nothing to it. We got it at Home Depot. It's kind of pricey, but it was like two something. Like it was worth it. Or something. Yeah, it wasn't too bad. Yeah. I was like. I was like, why isn't the light on? It's basically a work bitch. Ugh, I'm going to get some water. Oh, you know what? I'm going to get some juice. Look. My bad, guys. I'm trying to get all this stuff on for you. If it wants to work. Okay, so I'm just gonna have something different besides water for my drink. I'm gonna go in with this Zero Sugar Minute Maid. If y'all haven't tried these, they're super, super good. I honestly mostly get these when I have like mixed drinks at home, um, but they have a lemonade one as well. I get these, you can get these where all the other juices are. It's not turning on, huh? Why, is that plugged in? Yeah. Either way, we got lights everywhere, so don't worry. Yeah. Sorry, guys. Turn on the lights. Play <clears throat> straight to the wall. I don't know. Just. There it goes. You gotta get the chair over there. I don't know Alright, guys, sorry. We're just setting that up. Kind of chewy for me. That juice is awesome. They have mango. Oh, I have not seen the mango one. I only have the lemonade and this one at my store. I didn't know they had mango. Mango will be super good as well. That sounds really good. Um, but yeah, just have these in moderation though, guys. They do have hidden sugars in them. Um, you don't want to be drinking like the whole thing in one day. Um, I would definitely. You want to sit on this side? No, sorry. No. Um, so yeah, I would definitely just have it in moderation. Yeah, it has, um, yeah, it does have aspartame. That's why I say have in moderation. Baby, you want to read the comments off your phone? Oh yeah. Oh, uh, my phone's over there. Where? I'll go get it. I left it. You want to try these noodles, babe? 
Maybe. Okay. <laughs> they just look weird to me. Jesse. They look like little rubber. I don't know. They look like silicone. They look like silicone made into noodles. That's just kind of. We gotta do what do, right? I mean. Okay. I'm gonna go ahead and try them. I'll try it. I'll try it. Cause. Are my little fancy glass over here? Ooh, cheers. I've been watching a lot of your old videos to get more ideas, and I watched the one when your electric was out and you barbecued outside. Oh my God! Did you see when I fell? Yeah, that was when we had that freeze here in Texas, and we had no electricity. We had a barbecue outside, um, and I busted my butt going outside because it was so icy, and Ray caught it on camera. I was sore for like two days. She always falls. Though. I always fall. It's not even surprising. It's, yeah, it's just it ain't that new. Scoot over a little bit. Mm. She's trying to take my shine. Mm. No. Those noodles are pretty good. Oh, I'm sorry, baby. I scared her. Oh, jinky. I scared her with the chair. Um, these noodles are really good. This sauce, I give myself a pat on the back for that one. No, these are really good. They hold flavor really well, and they look a little chewy, but they're not that bad. They're not that bad. No. One ten. They're yeah. not bad at all. Like try. No, I don't want to hold no one little, little piece of noodle. No, I don't want all oh that. Oh my god. I, I don't like I'm I don't like texture too. No, that's too much. Babe! Half of that. Maybe. You gotta at least try it. I can try it. <laughs> He's so picky. Okay. They're not bad, right? They're all right. They're good. What do you, what do you, what don't you like? That it's like a rubbery, rubbery texture. Mm. But other than that, I mean, the flavor is really good. They do have a slight chewiness to them, but it's like slight. It's not bad. Like I can get past it, but the noodles hold flavor really well. So whatever you put oh, in they this, do. yeah, it's going to hold really well. The sauce, somebody, what did they say? Rubber noodles. <laughs> Mm -hmm. I always fall to hello my husband always brings that up living in the snow I can never live in the snow never I want to visit snow like I've never actually seen tons of snow but I couldn't live in it like that just sounds like a lot of work I just yeah. made the sauce on here it was super simple yeah I always give you the truth I mean that's how it has to be right yes I mean to me they're really good but I like them like these are probably one of the other I mean, it's a good substitute if that's what you're going with. Yeah. Like if you're doing keto and... But honestly, there's better better noodles than that. Um, I like the healthy noodles the mm. most. What are the ones you got last time? From really? Costco. The ones from Costco? I recommend those more than these. Yeah. But those are thin, so I don't know if you can get thicker. Yeah. Um, are you talking about the noodles in the ramen that I make? Yeah. He likes the ones... Uh, those are good. So they're kind of like these, but these are the linguine ones. So they have the spaghetti ones, but they're the shiitake noodles. So he likes shiitake noodles more. I give about a, these a six, honestly. <clears throat> I give them about an eight because I like them a little bit more. But I well, think they're really good. It's probably because what she eats all the time. Yeah, I'm probably right? so used to it. And I've tried a lot of different keto noodles. And to me, these aren't that bad. Then I've tried not that good ones, but these are actually not that bad. They're pretty good. Of mm. course, mixed with like shrimp and all the, you know, broccoli mm -hmm. and all that. I mean, when you eat it mixed it's together, it's probably better. I just ate a noodle. Yeah. A little piece of a noodle. But this sauce is the bomb. I definitely recommend to make your own sauce. Add, do what I did a little water, a little xanthan gum, but I recommend to add the brown sugar and it just gives like that sweet and spicy with the sriracha. It's super good. I definitely, uh, I would put exactly what she put in there because the flavor is really, really good. Like, mm. it is it really is. good. The sauce is the bomb. Maybe I can make this for you with the shiitake noodles. You probably like it. Yeah, I would like that because that mm -hmm. has really good flavor and then the shrimp and that. Yeah. I, I love how he toasts. Oh yeah, he always does. Did I make some comments up here? Because I know I saw something. I didn't like the healthy noodles. However, the palmini lasagna noodles taste just like a real lasagna noodle once it's cooked. I tried those. Those are super good too. Um, you can find those at Walmart, but they have them in a can, right? The palmini noodles like that, they sell them in a can, so they have the the longer strips of noodles, and then they have the lasagna ones, and those are really good too. I think those are probably the first 
noodle replacement that I had ever tried when they started coming out with like a lot of keto products. Those are the first ones I ever tried. And I don't mind them at all. It just depends what mood I'm in. But. I like these. I want some, some chopsticks. <laughs> What'd they say? It popped up right there. Throw some chicken thighs in that sauce, girl. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. Some chicken thighs. Chicken thighs would be really no. good. Ray don't eat chicken thighs. Mm. And no. I was going to no, get no, chicken no. thighs, but I wanted him to try this. So I was like, I can't get chicken thighs because then he won't try it. So I went ahead and got shrimp. Yeah. No dark meat. <laughs> Ray does not like dark meat. Chicken titties only. <laughs> I'm like, why? Like, chicken thighs hold so much flavor. I mean, yeah, but I just, I hate finding dark pieces in it. And it's just, it just grosses me out. Mm. I won't do that. This was really good. I enjoyed it. I, I'll definitely buy these noodles again. <clears throat> Ooh, a little spicy. I didn't think sriracha was spicy until I really added it to stuff and cooked it. It's a little spicy. No, it tastes good. That's what I said. Like, I'm not like too crazy on spicy stuff, but that wasn't really bad. Or well, maybe she's getting a lot of it because, yeah, she keeps going. I know. <laughs> What did y'all cook for dinner today, guys? I can't eat dark meat. Hmm? Thank you. Who's that? Good night. It was a little hot right here. Cooking over in the stove. It's me. Yes, a lot of people don't like dark meat. I won't eat, I don't know, I'm not picky. I kind of eat everything. Picky. I'll try something once. Big dude, picky. Big dude, picky. Yeah, everybody always says like, how is Ray so picky? I'm like, yeah, I'm know. <laughs> Hamburgers and mozzarella sticks. Hamburgers steaks, and mozzarella sticks is life. French fries. All the time. I'll be going to H-E-B and it's like, I have half cart keto, half cart not. And I see a lot of, so there's this lady that I ran into H-E-B last week and she's like, I thought it was you, but I saw your cart. You didn't have much keto items. I was like, I know. I was shopping regular stuff. <laughs> That's for the kids too, you know. Everybody always looks at my hand tattoo. That's how they recognize me. They're like, oh, I thought it was you. I looked at your tattoo. Especially because she has like different styles. So mm -hmm. they got to really look. I always look different. Her. Guys, if y'all ever see me in store, don't be shy to say hi. I talk to everybody. I love talking to y'all. I talk to everybody. Ray does talk to everybody. Y'all see me, y'all say hi. We haven't gone to HB in a while together. I know. For the real, kids no. were in school. We were always at HB talking to everybody. Going grocery shopping. I was like, we like live in H-E-B. You know, I'm coming here so much. Steak and broccoli tonight. That sounds really good. Wait, what were you wanting the other day? Outback. What's that, Ruby? Ray was wanting Outback the other day. Yeah. You know what's really good? No. Was it? No, it was Roadhouse. Oh, a, uh, a steak from Roadhouse. Have y'all ever gone to Outback and actually ate keto foods from Outback? Their food is so good. Didn't they have a chili or something last yes. time? Yes. And they so, got rid of it. Yeah, so they had like this seasonal chili and it was actually keto proof because it didn't have no beans in it. It was just like steak mixed with like a chili kind of sauce. Wait, and it was wait. so good, but it was seasonal. But when I actually go to Outback, I really enjoy it because I personally don't like to eat out a lot because I feel like I could just make it better at home sometimes. And... When I go to Outback, I know it's going to be good. Their asparagus is super good. Their steaks, their broccoli, like if you get it load, loaded, everything is really, really good there. They have really good keto, low-carb options there. So I enjoy going to Outback if you want to splurge a little bit and you want to cook at home. I go to Outback and I eat their pasta. <laughs> they got a Queens Island pasta with steak and... No, I think you can put steak and Yeah, steak. it's shrimp and chicken. Shrimp and chicken. Yeah. It's good. People are like you go to every time we go, go to, to like steakhouse uh, and you get this, but that's what I like from there. If I want a steak, I'm gonna go to Row House. Yeah, I I love Outback. It's good. Looks good. I made shrimp tacos with pico on low carb and tortillas. That sounds really good too. Some shrimp tacos. I like to make like shrimp tacos, but I like to get them a little crispy with cheese. Mmm, good. And then you put the toppings in there. Cajun salmon simply delish. That sounds really good too. Have y'all seen my video? It's like an odor video. One of my first recipes on here, kind of, I did like a stuffed salmon. It's like stuffed with like Gouda cheese, shrimp, with the salmon, cream cheese. Y'all need to try it if y'all haven't tried it before. 
Definitely look back at my videos for that salmon recipe. It's really, really good. Guys, y'all give her a, a clap on there for saying sa salmon. Because she, she used to say salmon. So <laughs> give Who those, corrected me? Chris corrected me, Y'all give right? those clapping hands on His there. His brother was Let like... Let you're proud of her. His brother was like, did you just say salmon? <laughs> it's like... I think we were out to eat. Yeah, too. like something. I was like, yeah. He's like, it's He's salmon. like, I hate it when people just say that. <laughs> Damn, okay. Like, I guess that's how you say it. I never realized the way I say it. I mess up so many words. You already know that. Crispy tacos, finishing up my tortillas, been giving them up for a while. Hopefully. Oh, yeah. It definitely will. See, if you're if you're at a stall and you think you're definitely having too much of something, just try to lay off of it for a little bit. I know it's hard because it comes in handy. Like, low-carb tortillas, you just want to make a quick breakfast. But if you do want to lose some more weight, Definitely got to try to cut back a little bit. I, my myself, got to cut back on some snacking right now because I've been here at home with Ray and I get really comfortable and I want to go sit down. They're getting the clapping hands. Oh, <laughs> I want to go sit down and like play games with him and watch movies and relax. So I tend to snack. So lately I've been snacking a little bit more than I should have. So I'm with you on that. I'm going to go ahead and cut back on snacking. Uh, hold on, hold on, guys. Read some comments, babe. Mr. Live, what did you fix? What did you make, babe? What's it called? Um, shrimp stir fry. This is shrimp stir fry with what noodles? Okay. What noodles? Conjac noodles. Conjac noodles. I'll, I'll show Jelly package. noodles. Silicone noodles. Silicone. That's what it looks like. For real, they don't. Like, they taste they good. look just like jelly, man. Okay, like, this is the noodles that I used if y'all missed it. These are the organic konjac linguine noodles. Three servings, zero net carbs, only 10 calories per serving. And they're, to me, they're really good. I like them. I give them an 8 out of 10. Six. I like them. They hold flavor Six really well. Me. And I can deal with the texture. Like, you really don't even chew them. You kind of just, like, swallow it because they're so, like, slippery. See? <laughs> they're good. See? They're good. I like them. I think everybody's different. Everybody has their own preference. It tastes hey, look, different guys, to everybody. I don't like a lot of stuff, so if you're really trying to go for <laughs> to try to enjoy some keto <laughs> stuff, I, I'm real picky anyway. So, yeah, I, mean, I would at least you, just I'm definitely. Gonna tell you what, my opinion, because yeah, I mean, I don't like tons of stuff. I know. was eating way too much keto ice cream. See, yeah, stuff like that. You gotta do it as a treat. You can't just indulge just because it's healthier. And because it's lower in carbs and calories, you still got to treat it as a treat because then you're just going to keep giving in, giving in and wanting to eat all the time. And I understand because I get the same way. I'm only human. I get the same way. So I try not to have so many desserts on hand and snacks because I want to eat them because I know it's there. So just treat your moderation. Treat yourself every once in a while. Like, hey, I haven't had a keto ice cream in a while. Let me go buy one and do it like that. Just don't have them on hand like too much because <laughs> I'll be doing that. But I at least recommend to try these. At least give them a try and see what y'all think. I like them. Let me know what y'all think. If y'all happen to try them, whatever y'all make with them, post it on my Facebook page, guys. I love to see any pictures that y'all make of y'all's dinners. Um, post them there. I know you can't post here on YouTube, so if y'all do have Facebook, feel free to do so. Throw the noodle on the wall. <laughs> try it. No, I'm not we throwing the noodle wall. on the wall. Just throw it there, look. Y'all are wrong. They want to know. Y'all are wrong. For that. Curious. We got dogs anyways. Oh my god. Yeah. I'm not really throwing this noodle on the wall. Just throw it on the wall, why not? Right there. Oh, you went the other way. Hold on. No, we don't stick to the yeah, wall. No, it's rubber. I'm telling you, it bounced right off. Look, not my walls. No, look. See, it even fell off. It not my walls stick. dirty. I'll tell you, it's, it's, it's rubber. It bounced. <laughs> she could have bought it up and, yeah, play wall ball or something. Wrong. Yeah, wipe that up. <laughs> it didn't stick, though. Look at my dogs over here trying to eat it. They ain't gonna eat it. Well, he, Linky does like to chew on like toys and stuff, plastic, so maybe. Who said that? Who said would it stick to the wall? <laughs> it didn't. It didn't. It didn't. It's not that. It's not sticky. It's just like. Wiggly. It's like what, what they make little bouncy balls out of. I like the them. clear ones. The bouncy balls? No, it's not. I don't know. No, they're not refrigerated. These are actually just in the aisle. I found it where all the Asian food is. 
Yeah. So you know how like they have the Asian sections with all the Asian sauces, the Asian noodles. That's exactly where they were. And they were like three dollars, which isn't too bad. Not too bad, like a jelly noodle. <laughs> yeah, definitely. But it's still good. I like them. I like them, and it didn't stick to the wall, so it passed the test. What okay. says? That was a test. I thought y'all wanted to stick They're to the wall. They're probably trying to see if it's really rubber. If it bounced, it's rubber. <laughs> it bounced. <laughs> Maybe. It's yeah, give them a try. Hold on, guys. I will give it a try. Uh, like a jello noodle. Yes, I say like a jello noodle, but more. With more strength. <laughs> Put noodles stick when they are good. It stuck for a second when she put it up there. No, it didn't. They said noodles stick when they are good. Well, these are keto noodles, guys. I mean, come on. You gotta... Noodles stick when they're good. Yeah, you don't I guess that's noodles. what people say, right? When you're done finishing, you know when a noodle's through, you stick to the wall. Yeah, but see, like, yeah, it's, it's keto, you know. You're they're trying, good. You're trying to have. See, you are going to try these noodles, and you'd be like, you know what? Sammy was right. They're not even that bad. Try it, guys. And they are like raised wrong. Y'all let me know next live. Yeah, I mean y'all got a whole week, so and we'll definitely go on live and I'll definitely be cooking. I know Amazon because I think I've seen it before. Unless they say something about work like sooner than what I'm thinking, then yeah. I'll I will be cooking next week live. Chicken bacon rice pizza. And she'll be trying to sardine. Now I'm gonna make the noodles stick to the wall. <laughs> Just cover them with food coloring. I'll call them gummy worms. Oh Thank my you. God. They were kind of like that. Honestly, they were kind of like that. <laughs> Except they were like sliced into like flat pieces. What are they even made from? What's konjac? They just weren't as... It's water, konjac, flour, citric acid. That's what they're made of. Y'all try them, guys. Just Y'all let, let us know. They are shiitake noodles. See? They're just like a different kind of shiitake noodle. Is that a different brand? Yeah, it's a different brand. It's a different brand. It is a shiitake noodle though, but these are just thicker because they're the linguine ones. And maybe you could just make them can. They're made from a plant in the native to Southeast Asia. What you can do to make keto gummy worms is you get those. You can put them in a bowl and put some like the little powders from the the straw powders. The little powders that you put in the waters and mix it up. If I were to make gummy worms, you'd be like, no. That's how you. <laughs> that's it. That's how you would try to make gummy. Ray worms. loves gummy worms. I'm like, ew. They put ew. <laughs> oh, maybe sugar and food coloring candy. Not trying to make candy over here. I love barbecue chicken pizza on my menu. I may need to change it to chicken bacon ranch. Ooh, barbecue chicken pizza. Really good. Did you make the crust out of the chicken crust like the recipe video that I have on here? The camera keeps blurring. It's probably, Maybe because we're moving. No, it's, it's, trying it's, to focus. it's not because we're moving. Oh. She doesn't know anything about electronics, guys. She, like, guesses everything, I swear. Well, maybe. But it's probably the internet, really. Yeah, it's probably The that. kids are probably playing on the internet, playing games. All of them play games and all that. So it could be it. And we didn't guys, really start. we have the best internet. <laughs> not right now. <laughs> Bella. They look like they'd hit the spot. Forgot what the real thing tastes like. Any See, that's probably what happens. <laughs> uh, yeah, that's probably what it is. Because I'm like, oh, this is good. And Ray's like, <laughs> like, it tastes like the real thing. Just try it. He's like, it does not taste like the real thing. Oh, you tried the gummy worms, right? And yes. The, yeah, I have. They're good. They're just like, they're slightly chewy as well. But they're not that bad. I'm not the biggest candy person, so I don't get them often. But I do recommend them if you actually want like a little candy like that. Um, you can find those at Walmart in like the candy aisle too. Um, I personally like chocolate. That's me. I really like sour candies. I'm like all for no, chocolate. No, I like everything. all kinds of stuff. I like all kinds of stuff. But if I'm when I'm drinking like Cokes, I like to have like a Sprite with like gummy worms, sour worms, or like sour Skittles gone. That's just bad. But yeah. yeah, so I like the Lily's chocolate bars. Those are so but good. But I do like chocolate with a cold water. <laughs> Every time, like when, or when I was doing the keto, I, that's what I would tell her, like, hey, I just need the little, what are they? Uh, Russell Stover's. Yeah, just one of those, the, two uh, of those, and then I just drink water. The pecan delight. give it 
I like that. But that, when y'all eat sugar free candy, y'all gotta eat that in moderation because it's hurting my stomach sometimes. That, that craved my sweet tooth. Anyway, yeah. I don't remember it hurting my stomach, but I need to get a lot of stuff out anyway. <laughs> <laughs> But mine is like the Lily's chocolate bars. They're super good. I like the ones with the almonds in there. And I like the cookies and cream one. The cookies and cream one is so good. So, so good. Haven't made it yet. It will be my first time. I was going to do Fathead recipe you have. Yeah, that one's really good. I love Fathead though. Ray don't really, he likes it sometimes, right? It was like, eh. He don't really like Fathead though. See, I, I'm picky, I like Fathead, guys. Though. I'm picky. So I'd rather, honestly, if you go make me a, a pizza, it's a pizza in a bowl. Yeah, he likes the pizza in a bowl, so all the toppings in That's a bowl good. baked. He likes that one more. I like fathead dough. Because of my, my dad, he calls it fat hoe dough. Fat hoe dough. <laughs> That's every, every time I think of it, I want to call it that. <laughs> because I'm rich and I'm, I, and I'm told I should care about poor people. Why should I care about Wait, what? Okay, my Walmart finally came out with the Rebel ice cream sandwiches. Have, have you tried? Wondering if it's good. Did I try those? I honestly don't think I've tried those, and I've seen them before, but I don't think I've tried them. I know they have like three different flavors. Maybe I'll try them soon, but I don't think I've tried them. <laughs> I'm rich. Oh, that's nice. Sour candy. Well, since you're rich, if you could give those some tips on there, <laughs> oh I'm my just saying, God. you know. Yeah, sour candies I love. Have you never seen any keto ones, though? Probably a good thing. Yeah, they have the... um. She just said the Lily's ones. They have the Lily's gummy worms. And I think it's gummy worms. I mean, gummy bears, too, that they have. Gummy bears. Waiting for my protein. But it is like a little packet. Like a little packet of them. Waiting for my protein cheesecake bars to arrive. Super excited. Oh, thank you. Guys, if y'all ever want some protein cheesecakes, you could use my discount code. So usually it's in the description from Protein Snack Shop. You guys, their protein cheesecakes are the bomb. And they have so many flavors, and they come out with the monthly flavor each month. I highly recommend those cheesecakes. Ray likes them, too. Ray loves those cheesecakes. He likes the regular one. Which other oh, one did yeah. you like? There was one I did not like. But other oh, than that, the cherry all the one. other ones are really good. He didn't like the cherry one, but he loves all the other cheesecakes. Their cheesecakes are so good, so soft. So if you are looking for a good low-carb cheesecake packed with protein, it's definitely good. order them. I have a discount code Keto with Sammy. It'll be in the description for y'all in my videos. Just go to Protein Snack Shop, and you can find them there. They're really, really good. <clears throat> I'm actually supposed to be getting a new package in for the monthly flavor. I like those. Yeah. And uh, <laughs> I like those, and Sam, uh, she wants to keep them to herself. Yeah, I hide them. For real, like I haven't ate one of those in... It's been over a they month. They freeze, so you can I freeze left. them. You could freeze them, and they freeze up to a year, and they stay good up to a year. And I promise you, when you let them to thaw, the texture's still the same. You know how when you freeze Better. something and it kind of changes? No. Their cheesecake still stays super soft even after it's frozen. Even his brother liked them. I gave one to his brother, and he's like, yeah, these are good. So he ordered some. Is popcorn okay to have if doing low carb? <sighs> low carb, Maybe. It depends. I would probably get more of like a low calorie popcorn if you really want popcorn. It's not keto approved, but if you're just but doing low, low carb, carb, low carb, I would aim more for a low calorie popcorn. Um, try to stay away from like all that butter, that fake butter in the regular popcorns. Just look for more of a healthier version of them. Um, see, sugar free candy gives me bubble guts too. <laughs> I can't do it I too much. I love the Cheesecake Factory, and I've only had it once. And I remember I got me a, a cinnamon roll cheesecake with ice cream, blueberry ice cream. Ooh. She said, well, since you're rich. Yeah, guys, if y'all ever want to tip me, it's not optional. But if you ever want to tip us, it is in the option below of, in the comments that you can go ahead and tip us. Ray is hilarious. Thank you, guys. Y'all be He's not that Thank funny. Thank God. It should be my he, show, guys. Come on, I'll make you laugh all day. He's not that. Everybody's always like, Ray's Bro, so I funny. jump on random lives. Ray's just, like. <laughs> just to make you smile, guys. I, I got you. Like, he's not that funny. I'm, I'm funnier. I'm going to start dumb. I'm going to pick up her phone and just Ray always out. says, babe, you think you're funny. I'm like, she I am funny. She thinks she's funny. <laughs> you know what? Oh, I, I just found that out. Cheesecake Factory has low-carb cheesecake. I was just looking at that. So we were talking. I don't know what we were talking about. I looked up Cheesecake Factory's menu the other day because I've never been there. And I was like, dang, their cheesecakes look good. And then I went down and they have a low-carb cheesecake. 
So maybe one day when the kids go back to school, wink, wink, we can go to the Cheesecake Factory and I'll give a try the low carb cheesecake. I'll probably do what I eat in a day and I can go ahead and try that low carb cheesecake. We should do that. You looked it up because we wanted to go. Yeah. <laughs> but we're poor, so <laughs> can't go. <laughs> um, but yeah, I looked it up and I was like, man, that looks really good. And I never realized how big Cheesecake Factory's menu is. And they got a lot of options. So. They got so much stuff. So I'll definitely do a video on that and try their cheesecake because it was really interesting to me that they actually had Maybe that on their Maybe what I a day will go to like a Cheesecake Factory. Yes, yeah, so I said. Yeah, when the kids go back to school. <laughs> we'll go on a little date. <laughs> I wouldn't trust the Cheesecake Factory. Oh no, don't say that. <laughs> hey, we love cheesecake. You trust mods and their cauliflower crust. Oh yeah. It's it's kind of iffy when you go out to eat. You don't really know, but it's still great options to have on hand when you are out to eat and maybe like a family event and it's there. It's still a great option just to enjoy. Mm-hmm. <clears throat> That's how I feel about my husband, too. Yeah. Everybody else thinks he's funny, but he's not. I am funny. <laughs> if you think I'm funny, put a laughing face, guys. Y'all go ahead. He cracks me up sometimes. All day. All day. And she <laughs> she gets a good joke every now and then. Like, maybe once a week. Maybe. I laugh at my jokes and all she, the time. And she'll just be like, you heard what I said? You heard it? <laughs> and she's just like, oh, I'm so funny. And, and, and he's like, you know he wants to laugh, and he's just like... <laughs> Don't put the laughing face. My laughing face. Oh my god, their menu was huge. I know. I didn't realize how big their menu was. It's crazy, but everything looks really good there. I'm trying to get away from home. I says welcome home. <laughs> I'm trying to stay out there. <laughs> he but wants, I enjoy he it here. Work. I do enjoy it here. They do not make their cheesecakes. Oh, they don't. Okay, I know what you mean. But yeah, I'll look into it and see how it goes. I'll still try it, but I'll definitely let y'all know, like, ingredient-wise, what they actually have in their cheesecakes. Um, I know Sammy missed you. I did a little bit, but he has to go back to work now. Oh, <laughs> always missed me. I do. I'm like, dang. For real, yeah, guys. Yeah, she just seen Bella. She'll be editing a video, and then she'll just pop up in front of my face, and she's like, <laughs> I just missed you. Yeah. <laughs> You want to go over there with me? I'm like, Bella, when no. Ray came home, Bella was like, like jumping on the bed, running we, around. We got home like three in the morning. Yeah, this last time he came home, he came home really late. So everybody was asleep and it was just me up and Bella was like freaking out. Like, oh my God, you're home. Finally. It was the longest two weeks ever. <laughs> just got online. What's for dinner? We made shrimp stir fry, but using this noodle replacement. These konjac linguine noodles. And it was really good. I enjoyed it. So if y'all want a noodle replacement to try, go ahead and give it a try. Everybody might have a different opinion on it, but they weren't that bad. Slightly chewy, but held flavor really well. And I got these at HEB in the Asian aisle where all the Asian foods are. Or you can probably look them up on um, Amazon. Konjac. They're shiitake noodles, basically. They were super good. Cool hat. Thank you. Thank you. I got it online. I picked it out. Facebook kept saying, buy this hat. Buy this hat. <laughs> and they said it for like a long time. And I was like, fine, I'll buy your hat. Ray has like a hundred hats. No, I don't. Yes, you do. No. I counted them. They were like, it was like 50. 50. -ish. That's the best I think. Not even including his work hats. Ray has an obsession with hats, shoes, and colognes. <laughs> if you ever want to send me colognes though I'm just saying He was mad because he broke like two of his colognes guys No I broke one When I was packing And I I pack it in They're with all my expensive. clothes And I roll it in my clothes right So they don't bounce around and hit each other On my luggage Well then I flipped it to close it And one just flung out And it hit the tile and just Yeah went. You're like it's expensive Or it's one of my good ones Or something it like was. that It was like a what was it? It's, it's the kind you got too. Yeah, like, I know. I don't remember you... which one it was. Um, what perfect keto products are must have? I have a discount code if you are looking to perfect keto products. If you want to order them, it's Keto with Sammy. But I personally, when I get their products, it's collagen, MCT oil powder are my main ones. Electrolytes, if you are first starting on a keto, they do have some awesome electrolyte powders. And their protein bars are really good as well. So those are like my top products that I usually get from perfect keto. 
I'm hopping off. It's great seeing you guys. Until next time. Yes, we'll be live sure. next Tuesday. Ray will probably be cooking, so y'all stay tuned for that. Most likely. Trying to cook. <laughs> Make, <laughs> Trying to cook. So I know how to cook. Oh, see, I've never been to Whole Foods before, so if y'all do have a Whole Foods near y'all, I'm pretty sure they have these noodles too. I think a Whole Foods is like 40, 30 to 40 minutes for me. I kind of really want to go to one eventually. I thought but, they were going to get something like, no, that was that was like a farmer. We have a lot of stores in our area, but we don't have Whole Foods or Trader Joe's. I've been wanting to go to Trader Joe's for a really long time, so hopefully I can go soon. I'm so tired of eggs on keto. Don't eat eggs. I, I honestly... tons of options. Yeah, there's tons of options. I honestly skip breakfast most of the time. But if you are a breakfast person, you can try like some overnight keto oatmeal. oatmeal. I have a recipe video on here on how to make some keto oatmeal. Just try different things because I know eggs can get kind of tiring. Um, but that's why mostly I kind of skip breakfast. If I do have breakfast, it'll be because I was craving it most of the time. Or I kind of like protein shakes. If you're into protein shakes, I would definitely just make up some protein shakes or buy some. I, I like, like protein shakes. Yeah, in the Ray That's loves like protein shakes. That's my favorite thing, and it does it fill me up quick. Yeah, instead of just eating eggs and stuff, because I know you can get burnt out, but you don't always have to eat breakfast. Yeah, see from Whole Foods. How was the perfect keto mac and cheese? I haven't tried it. I saw that they came out with it, but I definitely will try to try it soon. Um, have y'all tried the perfect keto mac and cheese that they just came out with? I don't know. I saw it and it looked good, but then it looked kind of iffy, and I was like, I don't know. <laughs> Your zucchini recipe is my favorite. Oh, which one? I have a lot of zucchini one. Are you talking about the one in the bake with the cheese, like the layers of them? I think I know which one you're talking about. Oh, the one skillet, the one with the ground beef. Yeah, I just did a one skillet recipe. I'm actually trying to do more recipes like that for y'all. If you are interested in those kind of recipes, like five ingredients or less um skillet recipes just to make it so much easier on people and i know things are getting expensive and you don't want to buy so many products just for one meal so i'm really trying to do a lot of like minimal recipes for y'all if you are interested in that let me know thank you for all the info i'll place an order using your code very soon yeah definitely my link is always in the description below but yeah, just a lot of one skillet recipes for y'all I think will be really good. And I can't wait for fall. Fall's coming up. I love me some fall recipes, so I'm really looking forward to those recipes as well. I tried macadamia milk. I actually liked it better than almond. Really? Because I always stick with almond milk. I hate changing something and then I'm disappointed. So I haven't tried, uh, changed it, but I actually heard somebody else say that as That's well. That's your job. You gotta try it. Yeah, so. I'll probably try it for you. I'll probably try it. Um, I'm honestly not a big milk drinker. I never was even before, but I like them for my smoothies. So I'll look into it. Ray likes milk. He loves milk. Chocolate milk. <laughs> I don't drink no chocolate milk anymore. <laughs> chocolate milk. Good night. Good I know night. it's getting kind of late, guys. So we'll probably jump off here very soon. Yeah. But before y'all leave, make sure y'all, if y'all enjoyed that video, make sure y'all hit the thumbs up button. Yes. One skillet recipes. Creamy like real milk. Okay. Also, she can be doing more simple recipes with let like five ingredients and less. Yeah, that's what I was and telling you. And dumping goes. Yeah. Oh, dumping goes. Dumping goes. Dumping goes are really good, especially for fall. Dumping goes are really good. They're good. I know a lot of people bring out uh, crock pots and stuff. Yes, fall recipes. I'm so excited to see those. Yes, I have tons of fall recipes on here, but I can't wait to bring out more. I have a keto hot chocolate on here. So good. Love me some hot chocolate. But all right, guys, I guess we're going to go ahead and jump off because I know it's getting pretty late. But hopefully y'all enjoyed this live and this just gives y'all something new to try along y'all's journey. If you are looking for a noodle replacement, definitely look into it and give it a try at least one time. And let me know what y'all think. Let me know what y'all make with them. Good night. Don't forget to hit that thumbs up button, guys, and share this video with all your family and friends. Please share my channel so we can get it out there more. But thank y'all for the love and support always. Do I search for Sammy Keto? Wait, what did they say? I missed the comment. Overnight oats. No, just put... Uh, it's, keto, it's Keto with Sammy oatmeal, oatmeal, I believe. Or yeah. you can go to my breakfast. So I have playlist on here that you can go through. And I have a breakfast playlist and it should be in there. Uh, I love waiting a week then binge watching your videos on a weekend. So thank you so much for all the videos you create. I know it takes time. Yes, it does. Thank you so much for noticing all my hard work. Thank you guys. Good night guys. Good night. I'll see y'all next Tuesday so Ray can cook. <laughs> oh yeah. And she could try the sardines. No, we're not doing yeah, that. No, do that, we're definitely. not doing that.
All right. Bye.